Ah, I've done a lot of work to prepare for my shop. Got a nice spot hollowed out. I'm gonna put it half underground. I think it's gonna look pretty, pretty dang good. Hmm. Almost seaworthy. I have a plan. As everyone knows, pirates never come unprepared. That's totally a typical thing of pirates. Because we're very smart. Smartest kind of people in the world. We're well known for that. And so, I am prepared. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after five? Six, seven. Okay. It's all right. I, I, I knew it. Don't worry. All right. It's easier to count when it's rum. That much I know for sure. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I better put this here. Let's go ahead and put this here as well. Very nice. <clears throat> what else do I need? I need some quartz. I'm so prepared for this building. It's going to look great. Very excited. Let's see. How about we start here? Oh no. Hmm. Very good. Now. In my head this looks good. Okay. This is a sober head, mind you. Very sober thoughts. Looks kind of good right now. Okay. Hopefully my sober mind does not betray me. I usually think better on at least a bottle or two of rum. But as I've discussed, there are problems with that right now. I'm not sure how I feel about the look of the prison marine blocks. They look okay. It looks like it it's quite the thing for those city folk. They'll probably like it a lot. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I think this could all be this blue stuff. I've been tearing down the monument. That's where I have all these. Uh oh. That's uh -oh. where I have all these blocks from. It's getting pretty cleared out. But I have a lot longer to go on it. It's a slow process. Slowly but surely it comes down. If I had my other mateys. I wonder what happened to my other mateys. Some of them were far worse than me. Surely they're also exiled to islands. But I don't know. Hmm. Need to catch up with the guys one of these days. Hmm, I'm not sure what I'll do for the ceiling. How does that look? That looks like a shop a city folk will love. But I don't think I like that. Let's see. What can we do? Uh-oh. All better. That looks pretty good. Well, now that the walls are built, I think we should go ahead and look at this floor. I like this block. I bought it from this shop over there. It's some variant of sandstone. It's red. It's quite interesting. It's better than the normal sandstone, I think. I like it anyway. I'm not sure I share the taste of the, the commoner. I don't know exactly who the commoner is, either. Oh, wrong block. There you go. I also have stairs. I guess I had too many stairs. Yep, too many stairs. That's okay. <clears throat> I've also... Now, you may not know it by looking at me. 
by looking at me. But I am quite the artiste. I know these these highfalutin folk. They like their art. So I'm making a little art. And they're gonna think that I'm one of these sophisticated folk. But I'm just a pirate. They don't know that. They don't need to know that. They try to mess with me, they'll they'll figure it out. But hey. For now, they do not need to know. Right here. Now, as any good home designer knows, as obviously I'm I'm a great home designer, okay. All pirates are good home designers. You have to you have to learn to fit a lot into a ship. You have a little room, it's very hard. Okay. So you develop these skills. Alright. Don't deny it. It's just just part of how it is. It's part of being a pirate. You learn to design stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. Everybody thinks pirates just kill people and drink rum. But we can build stuff while drinking rum. No reason we can't. It's not that hard. Just gotta learn to hold your liquor. No problem. Not a problem. Hmm. I messed that up. There we go. And there we go. <clears throat> Good. Oh no. Too much. Got too excited. I don't think I'm gonna have enough orange. It's not good. Well, let's see. Put that there. Then I need a little bit more orange. Right here. I have to go get the wool that I'm missing. Ah, there we have it. One of those fish that the children like to keep as pets. I catch them in the ocean every now and then, but they're not good for food or anything, so. But they're quite nice to look at, and the the wealthier kind like to pay a good amount of money for them. I might even sell some in this shop, I don't know. But it makes it a nice design, and it will attract some of those higher spending people. Let's see. Lots of sandstone in here. Very nice. We'll even put some sand in here. Hmm, there'll be a wall there, I guess. Hmm. Let's make some of these walls here. Alrighty, so I'm done with a good amount of the floor and the walls. The nice fishy, the walls. I have some places to fill in though, to add a little variety to this building. I'm going to put some quartz right here. Um, let's see. I will be putting this here. This is a darker version of the Prism Marine. Looks pretty nice, I think. Although I like this normal kind more. And then I'll put this to get some light in here. Very nice. And these right here. Looks good. Then some more columns. I think we're gonna put a, a counter for a worker. We'll have to find a worker we can hire to run our shop for us. But uh, hopefully we can just put some inventory here until then. But I'll work on finding a clerk. Surely there's someone around this area who is in need of work besides me. Because <laughs> I don't want to work here. I don't want to have to see those silly city folk all the time. I have the ceiling to do as well. Hmm. I think it'll all pull together better once I have the ceiling, so I'm going to do that. Just putting the last few blocks of the ceiling in, and I am done. Let's see. I need some lights here. Very nice. Yeah. 
And then let's see. Take some of this carpet. So we're gonna make a counter for the worker we're gonna find, but of course we should have the counter up already. Want our worker to get right to work when we find him. Don't wanna waste any time. That wasn't right. There we go. All right, get out, there we go. Hmm, I should make a secret storage room in here. I probably will. Huh. I'll think about that. Let's see. Then we're going to do some glass. Now, this is a tank right here. I'm not going to fill it up yet because it will make it hard later. But I'm going to try my hardest to get a guardian and bring it here. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's going to be quite adventurous. They don't exactly cooperate. They're not exactly friendly. But I would like to get at least two guardians, maybe more, into this cage. This tank, I guess. Once I get them in here, I'll fill it up with water. Looks pretty nice, I think. Not too bad. And let's see. I need some chests here. And right there. And there. And some chests here. And here. There. There. And these are going to be all my chests that sell stuff. It's very nice. <laughs> well, I think the interior of my shop is done. I'm going to put these signs down for now. They're going to talk about the guardians at some point. But I do not have guardians yet, so that won't really matter at this point. Alright, now the entryway. You fill this all up with Prismarine so it looks good. So the last big step in my project, make a nice entryway. Nobody will want to come into a shop if the entryway is bad. It's got to look nice. So I'm going to make it look nice. I want this to all look like water. No stone or anything like that. I think this is the best way to do it. And then we will put down some glass. That is a similar color to the water and the wool. Not quite the same. It's a mixture of the lapis and cactus green. I bought cactus from that shop as well. I think that's the only shop I've used. So far, anyway. Others should probably be used in the future. And we'll put this here. Looks very nice. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use more cyan glass. I think I like the way it looks. Alright, so I have this portion of the little tunnel done. It looks pretty nice so far. You can see the nice blue tunnel. I'm going to use a dark prism marine here. Like so. And some up here as well. Like that. And I need some sea lanterns. Right here. What should I do here? Let's see. One, two, three. I like that. I think I'm going to do something else there. Don't have the block for it though. Let's see, there it is. Same thing here. Very nice. Very nice. Then, oh. I don't think that's where I want that. I, mean, I guess it will work. Nice. I'll do that there. Let's see. I think I'm good on blocks. Voila. Now, I'll have to see who who around here builds this pathway and get them to make the path we go to my shop. I guess if they won't do it, I'll do it, but I'll see who does it. 
Maybe there is a person who offers free pathways. Where's my axe at? I need to get rid of this tree so I can take a look. Does it look familiar? It's a guardian. It's so good. So good. And we walk in. And there's the shop. Now, we'll need to find our worker for behind the counter. That'll come along in time. And we also need to find a couple guardians to put in here and fill it with water. What else do we need? Ah, we should put on display what will be for sale. Let's see. I'm not going to sell the lanterns. I don't have enough of them yet. Hmm. And that would be fine. That goes there. That goes there. Sponges can go there. Now, sponges are very useful, but they're also very rare, so I'm going to have to charge a lot for sponges. Although these three blocks, I don't need to charge very much for. And then, I was going to put some fish there, but I th don't think I have fish with me. I'll have to run and grab some. Alright. Time to set up some shop inventory. We have a bunch of these prison marines. I might have more of them. I'll put them in there if I do. Some of the bricks. Some of the dark prison marines. And I'm not going to put any sponge in there right now because it's so rare and I'm using some of the sponge still and I want to make sure I have a good price for it. I might even have to do some sort of like rental thing where they can buy it for a really high price and sell it back to get some of their money back. I don't know. Then I'll put fish over here, a salmon, a normal fish, puffer fish, and a clown fish. So let's see. What do I want to charge? So for this one, I would like to charge... For 32, I would like to say... How about 18... No, not 18 gold, 9 gold. That sounds good. And then there we go. Very good. And for these ones, we're going to do half as much because the bricks and the dark prism marine are a little bit harder to make than the normal ones. So I'm going to make them the same price, but for half as much. There we go. Same thing for this one. Very nice. And I guess I won't do that one yet, but I'll just go ahead and put a sign on it. And then, oh, what happened to the puffer fish? There we go. Alright, salmon going there. Fish going there. I'm going to need a lot more of these because I'm going to sell them by the five. Let's see. I'll sell the puffer fish for more, I think. What do I have the most of? I have plenty of those. Okay. So I will sell for one piece of gold. I am going to sell five fish. And I'll do this one the same because I believe that they contribute the same to your hunger. I think I get full about the same from a piece of salmon as I do from one of these. Oh, hang on, I did that backwards. How about this? Buy one. There we go. I do not want to make that two. I don't know why I made that two. Um, one. Five for the press of one. Very nice. For the clownfish now. I'll still I'll stay at the same price. I don't know what you can use clownfish for, but if they want them, they can buy them. Still a pretty cheap price. And then for the puffer fish, I should make it one for the price of one because they're more useful. One for the price of one. Very nice. Puffer fish are pretty useful. So there we go. We have four blocks to buy one of them not there yet and we have four fish to buy 
Now for this shop, it's basically done. It needs a worker, and I'll go looking for one. We need to fill in some guardians. I believe the entrance is completely completed. Looks pretty nice. I'll have to get one of these dandy looking paths. I'll have to take some of my stuff back home. But I think it's a very nice shop. 